Okay, so part two of this day up here at, uh, uh, it's still called Broke Down Acres, um, is the other trailer. And um, I have two trailers, the Bulls Arrow and a Mobile Scout that I paid a lot less for. And he's right over there. So uh, today I want to get the stove out of it which requires some disassembly of the stove and I'm gonna explain kind of for myself <laughs> and for anyone who cares um, what I plan to do with Mobile Scout who's in a lot worse condition than Bull's Arrow. So he's been towed here to the back part of the acres here and has been sitting here about two and a half months. Um, I am not sure of the year of this trailer, but it's a 20 foot, 18 to 20 foot long trailer. Um, inside it's mostly gutted. It is having some serious structural problems and um, when we go in for a closer look I'll show you um, that the aluminum shell outside of it is collapsing down um, and it's held up inside by some supports right now. But today I want to get in there and disassemble the stove uh, and get it out of there so I can continue taking everything out of it. Um, the trailer underneath the aluminum frame is really nice and the plan is to separate the top, the aluminum shell, from the trailer. Okay, here we are a little closer looking. Sun's gone down a little more. I did some weed eating here and there. And here's the problem. Because the interior framing is so rotted out, there isn't any wood inside this aluminum frame in certain spots, in many spots, to keep it standing up. And it started to fall down into the uh, trailer. It's just falling over the edges but the trailers in excellent shape it's probably 18 feet long and when I bought this thing I figured worse comes to worse I'll just take the top off and uh, have a trailer for hauling construction materials which I don't have and which I kind of need but I don't think I'm gonna do that I've got this little plan here this is a double axle mobile scout I don't know the year, but just looking at it, it looks like it's uh, mid to late 60s. Uh, it had a pressurized water tank in there at one time. Um, the back also falling down into the, 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 the shell on top of the frame is starting to fall down. Let's take a quick gander inside Blue Boy. Notice the uh, handle was replaced with a door handle from a house. The latch is still here. Unlatch that. I don't have the key. <laughs> Does it really matter? And it's a mess. This is what they call a partially gutted camper. I'm going to take everything out. First, I got to get this stove out of here. Then, all this stuff is going to come out, and my plan down the road is to put uh, what they call in house building a header board. Let's see if I can point it out behind me. Oh, golly. All across here, a board. And a bottom board all the way across here on both sides. Just screw it, one board on the inside, one board on the outside, top and bottom, left and right sides of the of the trailer, and uh, separate the aluminum shell from that bottom from that trailer. Once it's separated, I'll pull the trailer out, uh, leave this here start rebuilding the frame or say chuck it man it's uh impossible because uh 
Funny enough, I was in somebody's garage today and I saw uh, what would happen to this after you take the, the frame off. I, I mean, it was amazing. I, I went into this person's garage after seeing a 33 week old comment on the Mobile Scout forum in Facebook. And I didn't know I was reading something that was 33 weeks old. It said, hey, I have a free Mobile Scout. Come and get it if you want it. And so I responded to the guy and he said, well, it's not that easy to get it. So come by and look at it. And what I saw in his garage was all this removed, um, the front aluminum removed and the dry rot inside, which I'm sure is the same picture with this blue boy right here. But um, I have a little bit of a different plan. I'm not afraid to put screws right through on the top and bottom, separate them and uh, see what happens. Uh, my wife just, uh, uh, she thinks I'm spending too much time on these little projects I have, but uh, I'm gonna, I make time for everything, so we'll see how it, how it goes. Um, today's mission, extract the stove. It does not fit through this doorway, so either I'd have to take the doorway off, which at this point I don't really want to do, or I'm going to disassemble the stove. planning on keeping this stove Success. So, do I put it in the wheelbarrow, take it back up to the broke down mobile home under the protection of the, the eaves, 
or does it just join the other components that are set out for the junk heap? Wilbur, I don't think we need you tonight. <laughs>